Yeah. Coach, how much how much do you guys need this? Even you know, I know the, 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 there's excitement surrounding you, but how much does this team need to kind of even get out of league play and kind of you know maybe refocus a little bit and just go out and play play soccer? Yeah, no, it's not about. Um, Thankfully, about the league and the standings and the playoff hunt, it's about, for me, um, the first thing, celebrating 25 years. So it's, a, it's going to be a big party atmosphere. It's about the fans in the uh, in City Stadium. You know, when there's a packed City Stadium, when it's a sellout, when there's 8,000 people there, there's not a better atmosphere in town, and we want them to have one big party. So those are the two, two main things for me uh, from the organisation standpoint. For the team, hey, if you can't get up for playing against... A club from the top league in the world, then you shouldn't be uh, playing. So it won't be a problem. Everyone's very um, excited and eager to get out there, and we're we're looking forward to put on a show. You mentioned in an earlier question, with it being 25 years and the excitement around the city for you being here since the inception, how much pride did you take in the fact that one of the top Premier League teams, Swansea, back here for a second year, and I believe it's what the fourth straight year yeah. that a team from that league has been here. It's crazy. If you just said six years ago, anybody would have said, yeah, you know, you're going to play a Premier League team every year for the next four years. No one in their right mind would have believed that. So certainly a lot of, lot of pride in that. Um, but for me, really now, it's that next step. You know, you get a ticket to the game tomorrow night, you get to see Swansea City, world famous English Premier League, but it's really not about that. It's a $30 ticket, but that $30 for me, is going to be an investment in the kickers for the future, investment in the city, investment in city stadium, revitalize it, and the surrounding community. And if people look at it that way, $30 is absolutely nothing to really help the kickers grow, help the city grow, and help city stadium back to maybe its former glory before I was around, right? <laughs> wow, in great promo games like tomorrow, when it's not so much about the result, who, who takes the most out of it? Is it the players getting to play against top competition? Is it the fans getting to see players that they just watch on TV? You know, I think it's unique for every individual. Um, certainly for my kids, it's seeing the kickers beat a Premier League team because that's a, that's a big, big factor for them. We've done it before. Um, we've been very close in the three years prior. Um, I know that's the last thing on Coach Clement's mind or the Swansea City players. They just want a good game and be healthy and, uh, and have a good time in the United States and experience a great atmosphere. I think that's the reason why they came back. You want to put on a good show for the fans. You want to get a win, but you also want to see who can take that next step on your team the rest of the way. With that being said, how do you approach the game tomorrow night as a coach? Do you take a little bit from all three to put it together? or Yeah, no, it's a great question. The first part would be that just reading the comments of uh, Swansea City, of uh, Coach Clement, that they're probably going to play 60 minutes with one team and 30 minutes with another. Um, I'm a big fan of trying to keep substitutions to a limit, so I'll probably mirror that situation so there's not going to be a lot of stoppages and starts and the crowd can enjoy it. From that standpoint, you're probably looking the same as Swansea will play one team for the first segment, be that 45 or 60 minutes, and another team for the next 30 minutes. We have the uh, unique ability to experiment, mm -hmm. and uh, we know we won't have a lot of the ball because they're a very good possession team. We also know they've just done double days, and it's gonna be 95 degrees in a, a beautiful, humid Richmond night, <laughs> and uh, we'll be uh, bringing all that energy and speed into the match, so it should be a, a nice balance for the, uh, for the fans.